So a little bit about myself. Um, I've been, I was one of the original four of the CSTs. Um, this will be my third year here in October. And at CSTs, we handle traffic crashes, delayed crimes, most delayed crimes with no suspects on scene, um, burglaries, criminal mischiefs, and other thing, frauds, things like that, where the suspect's not there and it's kind of delayed. And we go there and basically help out patrol so they can more so focus on the higher priority calls and we handle the lower priority calls and it also helps with response times as far as people not waiting all day to um, get their call answered. And what's that tag number if you don't mind reading it out to me? So we just got dispatched to a traffic crash. Looks like it's a single vehicle crash, vehicle versus a pole off of Connors and Hermitage or is that here? It's Heritage Park Boulevard. So we're gonna be on the way there now um, and possibly see if we can help out. There's already two sworn units there. We're gonna see if we can either help them out or take the crash. And we'll see what we got when we get there. We just got on scene. Looks like units have already been here. We're gonna go see what we can help and assist with as far as the traffic crash itself goes. So we arrived on scene. As you can see here, there was this vehicle, it was a single vehicle crash. It ran off the roadway, struck the pole that's here blocking the um, community that's blocking this building. She's okay, there's very minor injuries. We got here secondary because units arrived 1018. 1018s mean they arrived lights and sirens. At CSCs, we don't have that ability with our vehicles, but they got here first due to the fact that they were injuries. So they want to get here as fast as possible to check on those injuries. Um, minor injuries, as you can see here, the post of the pole went through the windshield and there's some up here inside the grill of the vehicle. And so now we're gonna sit here and we're gonna wait for city utilities to come to replace the pole that was knocked out of the ground. And we're also gonna wait for the tow truck to come remove the vehicle from the scene. So we are now headed to a residential burglary. Um, the caller says that she believes that someone attempted to break inside her home. So we're going there to see if there's anything we need to investigate see if we can get prints off of or see what was taken if anybody did gain entry. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hi. Um, okay, so pretty much this right here uh -huh. has never um, been like that. The strip around the door, mm -hmm. I can just tell the door's been um, being messed with and this morning I opened my door and found this. Right, okay. This left the residential burglary that we went to we had to go up there and investigate, get information about what happened. She advised that somebody had possibly broken her door. So we went there and investigated the scene and took information down. While on scene, a possible suspect came back and we do not deal with suspects. The scene was, the call was delayed, which the officer came up there. He stayed on scene and took over the investigation as we left and took the report. As community service technicians, we deal with delayed crimes such as criminal mischief, delayed burglaries, vehicle thefts, and traffic crashes. So whenever a suspect on scene or a possible su suspect is on scene, we must contact a sworn officer and they will stay there until the scene is safe and secure for us to leave.